I just picked Sophie up at the dealer after having a torque cam install done. And we're getting ready to check it out to see if you feel any difference. I already felt a little bit here on the side roads, but let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. Woo-hoo! Hey there, Macy Gray! Ha-ha-ha! Oh, shit! Crap! My pants came off. I'm literally riding around I-95 in my underwear and my boots. <laughs> Don't look, Ethel. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Between the traffic and the weather, because we've had a lot of rain here since yesterday, the road conditions aren't that great. And I don't uh, act like an ass most of the time, so I don't want to really open the thing up right now. We'll come back another day when uh, the roads are clear and nice and dry and do a little video. But I can tell you right now that the, the difference is real. I had them do a dyno, so I did a before and after. So we'll take a look at those uh, readouts when I get back to the house. But it's uh, it's significantly uh, more torque for sure. And it's right where I like to, to have it because I usually ride around the uh, 3500 range or so. I don't like to get out and get the RPMs up real high. That's why I went with the torque, uh, torque cam because you definitely feel this down in the lower bands and the mid bands. Damn. All right, there's, this is kind of useless. So I will uh, come back after I get to the house. The other thing I did was I opted to, to do the, uh, the black instead of the chrome push rod and tappet covers. So. I think that looks pretty cool, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. See you, see you guys, uh, see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back at home, and it's a couple of weeks later. Just my luck that I go do a cam upgrade smack dab in the middle of crappy weather. But the spring is a coming, and there will be plenty of time ahead to rip it up. I will say that the Screaming Eagle Torque Cam upgrade makes a huge difference. And in addition to the performance gains, it also added a nice tone and texture to Sophie's exhaust sound. Check it out. Now let's take a look at the before and after dyno results. For reference, Sophie has the increased flow breather that came with a 114, 4.5 inch Reinhardt slip-ons, and the Screaming Eagle tuner. The dyno before the cam upgrade showed peak torque of 82.73 at 3640 RPM. The power at that RPM was about 57. They didn't mark it on the chart, so that's my best estimate from reading what I can see. Peak power was 76.22 at 5,420 RPM. After the torque cam upgrade, though, she now has peak torque of 108.08 .08 at 3,860 RPM. The power at that RPM is 79.83. Peak power is now 93.98 at 5,640 RPM. That's pretty damn cool for my riding style. The Screaming Eagle Torque Cam upgrade is definitely something that I'll enjoy every time I get on the bike, no doubt about it. I love having the extra torque on the low and mid bands. Rolling on the throttle, coming out of a curve feels amazing. And no matter where I am on the power band, riding on the highway, rolling that throttle even just a little bit immediately delivers whatever passing power I need. Performance-wise, I'm set for the upcoming season. Now we just need it to get here. Peace.